A teenage girl is fighting for her life after firefighters rescued her from a house fire in South LA. CBS 2's Joy Benedict has the details. I just heard some lady hollering that her house was on fire. A desperate plea that had this neighbor moving out his door and down the street as fast as he could. She was screaming that her kids were inside. Her kids were inside. We were trying to break the windows open, but we couldn't. Peter Garcia asked us not to show his face as the emotion from this morning was hard to hide. So we just got pushed back because the flames got way too it got way too hot and way too big. A helpless feeling for many living in this South LA neighborhood who saw the flames and heard the cry that someone was still inside. The flames kept getting bigger and we just couldn't do anything about it. Firefighters responded at 1.15 this morning. This home on 52nd place was burning and a 17 year old girl was trapped in her room. While some firefighters attacked the fire with water, others went in to rescue her. She was unresponsive and rushed to the hospital. When they brought her out, she wasn't looking too good. The teen was one of four people inside when the fire started. She lived here with her brother, parents, and grandparents. Family members say she suffered burns to more than half her body. Her grandfather was also injured, trying to rescue her. Friends spent the morning trying to save what they could inside as investigators work to figure out what started the fire. And they want all families to do their part to make sure their homes are as safe as possible. And that includes having smoke detectors. Family members tell us that the grandmother did hear a smoke alarm go off when the fire started, but firefighters say when they responded, they didn't hear anything sounding. And they point out that a home this size may require more than one smoke detector. And we're going to go buy some batteries for our own because come to find out ours weren't, we're dead. A terrible reminder that an early alert is essential to save lives. Joy Benedict, CBS 2 News.